I'm Mark Zirkelbach, the CIO at Loma Linda University Health, and I'm happy to be with my colleague, Dr. Vikram Kumar. He's the CHIO of University Health System, and we've partnered um, on some platform work. Uh, one of the items is uh, the indoor solution from Esri, and we're really excited to share uh, what we've been able to do and what we plan to do in the future. So it's always been our mission and we introduced this idea of, of a spatial mission or introducing the concept of location uh, to our colleagues and to our, and to our patients. And so we really want to try to improve the patient experience and promote wellness, but we think by introducing this, this idea that you can see a location in the context of whatever it is you're trying to do. If I have a diagnosis and I live in a certain area maybe uh, you know where there's a, a food desert or something, we can start to tie together things. So it's really important to both organizations to try to bring this together. And uh, we're, we're uh, happy to be able to share the sort of the technology view, but then quickly get into how it benefits people. Uh, years ago, we started this idea that we have the health system data sort of on, on uh, the left where we have clinical administrative and medical staff but um, it's, it's been really hard to try to, to com combine that with what we call community health data or information is sort of outside the walls of a clinic or a hospital. And so you can see that to the right. And we've always felt if we can bring those together uh, that we could, uh, we could make some magic happen and really improve uh, the care and experience of patients and those that are trying to take care of them. So this, this middle represents uh, this idea that we have these platforms that, uh, that on their own are, are pretty amazing, but when we can bring them together, we can start to change uh, the experience uh, that a patient has. And so you can see our two platforms here, uh, our EHR platform of the clinical is represented by the Epic Box, and then uh, the location services uh, is represented by uh, the, uh, the Esri marker on the right. And again, we, if we can bring things together and integrate the information, we can start to provide more seamless uh, experiences for our patients. And so they can move around easier. They can get from point A to point B. They can look at something on the clinical side and start to uh, experience from a GIS perspective and, and make some decisions on their own. So they can provide, it provides them insights. It can provide providers insights. And uh, we've been able to do that uh, with uh, the enterprise GIS uh, solution uh, called Indoors. So Dr. Kumar is gonna talk a bit about the patient experience and, and what they're doing uh, at RUHS. And then I'll touch a little bit about uh, what Loma Linda is doing. Thank you, Mark. Hello, everyone. Uh, just to give, give everyone a quick background, uh, Riverside University Health System uh, is uh, in Riverside County in Southern California. We're about 30, 40 miles uh, east of Los Angeles. Uh, we are wholly owned and operated by the county of uh, Riverside, and we are uh, a safety net uh, system. Uh, within the system, we have our main medical center campus, uh, within which there is uh, a 350-bed uh, level one trauma center and a medical surgical center, uh, which houses about uh, 40 different clinics. Uh, and then uh, we also have about uh, 12 uh, federally qualified health centers that are spread out all over the county of uh, Riverside. And uh, we also support public health, which has about 25 plus locations, uh, behavioral health, which has uh, 50, 60 locations, and also correctional health within the county uh, jail system. Uh, and uh, our mission is to improve uh, the patient uh, experience, um, uh, improve their uh, access to care, and then uh, uh, have continual improvement with processes. And, and for us, uh, uh, this partnership with uh, Loma Linda to get this project up and running with ESRI and EPIC uh, was, was a no-brainer because uh, it checked off all the three boxes with uh, patient access, patient experience, and performance uh, excellence. Um, one of the issues that our patients run into, especially with our expansion to uh, with our patient care, is that we have now uh, new larger clinics 
the medical surgical center, uh, for example, in our main medical campus uh, went up uh, last year. It went live in March of 2020, right around the time that COVID started. And it's a 200,000 uh, square feet uh, building uh, dedicated to outpatient service, uh, which includes uh, multiple clinics, uh, outpatient uh, surgery suites and ancillary services and so on. Uh, and uh, as you can imagine, it's very easy for patients as well as staff uh, to get uh, very confused and, uh, and be late for appointments and so on. Uh, so the vision was to get the patient uh, from their doorsteps or wherever they are uh, to their parking lot, which would be closest to their appointment, and then get them from the parking lot to the building, and then from uh, the front of the building, get them into... Um, uh, their clinic, the front of the clinic where their appointment uh, would be. And uh, towards that, we partnered both with uh, Epic and um, uh, ESRI. Uh, so the patients, uh, when they enter our medical surgical center, uh, they check in into kiosks, uh, which are essentially 24-inch uh, uh, computer stations uh, that stand alone uh, and uh, are uh, touchscreen. Uh, so the patient checks in and registers for their appointment, and then uh, they are provided with a QR code, uh, which they can uh, grab with their phone, and then they can go in, and uh, 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 and, and the phone would direct them uh, through indoor mapping uh, through a, a website. It directs them to their appointment. Uh, and uh, this improves efficiency uh, uh, with patient throughput, uh, it also decreases uh, anxiety uh, for our uh, patients uh, in uh, getting to their appointments uh, on time. And uh, we leverage uh, a combination of uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth uh, technology uh, to get the patients to where they need to be. And, and, and these are uh, some of the maps, uh, just as an example. Uh, and uh, um, the patients also, um, in combination with EPIC, uh, it's not just their mapping. There's also functionality within the um, kiosk for the patients to complete their questionnaires, um, complete some of their uh, pre-screening for the appointment. And then uh, the map also, if they're early for an appointment, uh, they are able to get to, you know, uh, if they have a pending lab, they can go and get uh, their lab done or uh, get uh, their imaging done, or they want to grab a quick uh, bite. Uh, we have a Panera on site, for example, they can just go there. So there are directions available for that as well. And, uh, and the patients really appreciate it, and the staff do, since it's a brand new building, and uh, we rolled this out right in the middle of COVID, there was a lot of uh, restrictions uh, with uh, visitors at that time. So as we started to um, open up uh, towards the end of 2020 and uh, open up access to our patients and also open up some of our patient clinics, uh, this came in very handy to, uh, for both patients and staff to navigate to where they needed to be. Uh, now our future scope is to expand uh, it to the other faces, getting the patient from the parking lot to the front of the building, um, and also the patient from their location, uh, be it their home or their workplace, wherever they start out to, to use uh, GPS technology and bring them to uh, the parking lot, which is closest to their appointment. Uh, and, and I mentioned that we are a, a safety net system, and uh, it's not unusual for us to actually uh, provide care uh, where the patient is. So uh, we would seek out uh, farm laborers, for example, and uh, go into a site and set up a mobile site where we can provide access to care. More recently, we're doing that for COVID vaccinations. Uh, and the intent is also to leverage this technology in the future to get the patient from where they are, uh, to uh, where they need to be, even though that uh, location may not be permanent for us. Uh, and then uh, I, I talked a little bit about expansion uh, uh, into our patient care. And uh, some of our clinics uh, are federally qualified health centers. They are quite big uh, themselves, uh, the newer clinics that is. And so we uh, plan to uh, get uh, uh, the indoor mapping up and running for some of those clinics that are larger so that the patients can easily navigate uh, to their appointments within those uh, clinic setups as well. Uh, and uh, we uh, have our main medical center building. 
which is distinct from the medical surgical center. And the medical center building ha also has uh, a few clinics uh, where we're stationed right now is limited uh, because of some of the COVID uh, restrictions. Uh, but we anticipate uh, opening up uh, visitation to those areas as well. And as those uh, become available uh, for visitation by patients and their families, uh, then we anticipate expanding uh, the routing um, uh, to those uh, areas as well. So one of the uh, one of the cool things about sharing a platform is that we can we can learn off of each other. And so we started. Um, early on with indoors in a different setting in a different situation in one of our schools and just trying to understand how the technology would work and what it would take in order to deploy it. So we started um, uh, helping people navigate, I'll say wayfinding within a university building, an older one. So, um, you know, lots of different hidden staircases and, and elevators that are, you know, not uh, self-evident where they might be and started learning how to use the, the technology that way, as well as, as uh, some of the same challenges that Dr. Kumar was talking about. It gets complicated to find the right building or to find a place to park and get to the main reception area. So that's where we started, is just how do we even, how do we even uh, deploy this technology to help uh, with some of the challenges that we have. And we're similar to uh, Riverside uh, University Health System maybe a little bit different campus uh, in that we've got eight schools and, uh, and uh, five hospitals on campus and then you know, one remote. Uh, so we have some of the same challenges. People need to, uh, to be able to move around the campus and, uh, and do so in a way that uh, they don't have to ask people, so do you know where this building is or do you know where that building is? And so what's next for us is also uh, leveraging um, the blue dot uh, navigation for that real time experience, so that we can see where we are, you know, on our phone. And as we move, uh, the blue dot, if you will, starts to move, uh, and we can see if we're getting close to the stairwell or what have you. Our situation is we're building uh, two new hospitals and opening in August, and we have a million square feet of sort of new space. In order to in order to uh, to navigate, so finding people, uh, finding uh, assets, are going to be a real challenge for us. And so we're really excited to be able to so leverage off of uh, what's been applied at RUHS, and um, and be able to build on that uh, in our new facility, and uh, and have a very good experience for uh, patients and staff, staff as well. Uh, it uh, it'll be a challenge to to uh, locate and navigate uh, the new building uh, with, uh, with all the, the changes that are gonna be taking place. Uh, my chart is uh, the, the patient's portal. And so being able to easily look at information about your appointment and then quickly launch into, so where do I need to go in order to, uh, to satisfy this appointment from parking all the way to uh, which, which uh, building and then which room are we gonna be in? ServiceNow is our service management platform. And so we can see uh, that there's gonna be a lot of efficiency. Tickets get open with things broken and there's a location uh, field in ServiceNow, but being able to navigate uh, to that location easily is gonna save a lot of time. Just where is the thing that's broke uh, and not, uh, not waste a lot of time trying to find it. Asset management is another is gonna be another area of benefit uh, where cl clinicians are gonna be able to load locate supplies and equipment uh, by leveraging uh, this, this technology. And as uh, Dr. Kumar described, we wanna be able to deploy this across all of our campus for what we call full, full campus routing and all sites to be included. And we think it's gonna be a major, major benefit uh, once we start to expand it beyond our, our new hospital. Uh, like Dr. Kumar, we have uh, a few images this is, I'm showing you the new, the new hospital, the sort of the front of that is the, is the children's hospital and the, the, the adult uh, tower is uh, in the back. And so again, you can see these are, these are uh, large places, difficult to navigate and anything that we can do to simplify that experience, uh, we think is gonna be 
heading in the right direction in terms of uh, the consumers having a very good experience uh, interacting with either Loma Linda or uh, Riverside University Health System. So we're very pleased to be able to share uh, some of our experience, so what we've been able to do and what we plan to do in the future and bringing together uh, the location science as well as uh, information that's relevant to someone's uh, health status or uh, that of an asset and uh, converge those things to, to make doing our jobs uh, much easier in the future. Thank you.